Hello, this is Hero again. Uh, it's been a while since we've looked at Ishizukuri, uh, the art of the rock. Well, I was thinking the other day, uh, Paul, uh, he's one of my newer students, but he's married to Marcy, who has been my student for a very long time. Well, Paul was telling me that he's going to be 88 next time I see him. So I'm thinking, okay, what do you give a very wealthy 88-year-old man uh, that, you know, money can't buy? Well, let me tell you about the story of Marcy and Paul. Uh, they're, well, what happened was they grew up in uh, the island of Maui. And evidently, they were dating when they were in high school. And then they left the islands and they went on to their own uh, profession. Marcy says she is a graduate of Stanford. And I think uh, Paul was a sailor man. Anyway, uh, so they were married to other people. And then, oh, towards the uh, mature age, they both lost their spouses and somehow they got together. So uh, Marcy and Paul are the oldest newlyweds that I have ever met. Uh, and it's so funny. I mean, Marcy's been my student for a very long time. And then Paul joined in and we just hit it off. Just one of those fun uh, couples that meet. But if you watch them and talk, uh, hear them, they seem like they've been married forever. They seem to be arguing or something all the time. But anyway, this is a very happy couple. I love them both. So anyway, I was trying to think of something that um, I could give them that uh, might be somewhat meaningful. So anyway, this is what I came up with. Of course, the big one is Paul. And Marcy is rather tiny, but she, she's a much more uh, style conscious. She, so anyway, I came up with this. Uh, Marcy has a fairly decent uh, amount of bonsai in her collection. And I think uh, this particular Ishizukuri will take the weather. I've been to Marcy's house uh, before uh, he, she got married. Uh, anyway, uh, so I know her collection, where uh, the bonsai collection is, and I thought this would be kind of a good outdoor uh, sculptural piece. Uh, Marcy is a, a very serious collector of fine art. Uh, the bathroom that I had used when I was visiting, <laughs> it's like a mini museum. And then throughout the house, she's got all these great works of art. Anyway, so I was thinking for Paul's 88, I, I'll come up with something like this. So uh, a lot of it is symbolism. And I think that's what we do when we uh, working with Japanese arts and things like that. Uh, if I have a chance, I'll see if I could catch the reaction. But anyway, so that's what I did, is to make uh, Paul with uh, Marcy his 88th birthday gift. Hey, how do you like my backdrop? Oh, I was in uh, San Francisco, Japan town meeting friends for lunch and I thought hey you know we need some interesting backdrop so I picked this up it's a, a note in there's a split in it and so what they do is they put this in between rooms so you kind of walk through yeah I like to get gizmos like this 
Well, this one here I made for my uh, long, long time student and friend. Well, almost all my students become friends over time, but I've known Art the longest. Uh, I met Art before I even started the nursery. Um, I went to his um, house and the yard uh, as a consultant for his landscape. So that's when I met Art. Uh, and then, well, at that time I told him that I was going to start a bonsai nursery and he kind of rolled his eyes and, you know, it's like, yeah, sure, right. Well, as soon as I sent him a, a flyer, he was the first one here. And he and Mark, although Mark has moved to Texas and may be coming back, but um, those two were my uh, first two uh, that was in the class. Actually, there was like eight of them in the class, but the two that le uh, stayed with me. So anyway, I made this for art. In the background, and you could see sort of faint uh, writing, he says, Nagai Tsukiai, or long-term friendship, uh, association, things like that. The, 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 the character on top says Nagai, it's long. Well, I was thinking in terms of, should I make it bold? You know, I could have used more flashy colors to make it stand out. But I try to make uh, these Ishizukuri custom ones uh, based on their character. And Art is kind of a soft-spoken, uh, true gentleman. And so I thought, hey, it doesn't need to be flashy. Uh, we all know that it's there, but if you don't see it, that's okay. So anyway, that was sort of the uh, reasoning for uh, writing like that. Versus over here, this writing, it is Bon Jing, the god of bonsai. Well, we want to be clear that the, the god can reside on this Ishizukuri and protect his bonsai. He had quite a few. He's been at it a long, actually uh, almost as long as me. I think he, he had some um, bonsai started when I went there. <laughs> Yeah, after I got through with uh, the garden part, uh, he brought his collection and then uh, I was trying to assist him on it, right? And then I go, where is your front? And he goes, there's a front? Yeah, that's the first thing you have to decide. It's the front of the tree. Oh, well, anyway. So, you know, those funny things that I remember. But anyway, that it's our... Our friendship has lasted a very, very long time. So anyway, I'm going to turn this so that you can see it. So let's take a spin around and see how this is constructed. It was just basically two rocks that more or less came together. The standing one did not have a flat bottom, so there's a, a little plate or a little uh, rock that's kind of holding it up. Uh, and then, of course, the lantern and our Bonjing, the god of bonsai. It's very simple. I was trying to figure out what to write, but I wanted to emphasize the fact that we've known each other a very, very long time. So anyway, I, I do these, and in terms of business, I think I made some sales, but it, we have yet to get into the full marketing yet. But I, I enjoy making these uh, for, for friends, especially ones that I've known for a long time. So anyway, I'll keep doing it. A couple of things I found out when I was working on these. Uh, it's a cold, cold days are not a good time to be working. I've got the quick set now, uh, but it still takes a long time for it to set up. So as soon as it starts to warm up, uh, I think it'd be a, a much better time to go ahead and start making more of these. 
what I'm trying to do is to customize. Uh, I'm going to have this workshop where people could come in and uh, make their own. Uh, I have enough parts so that if they bring in interesting uh, rock that has, especially things that have meaning for them, uh, we could get it to uh, become a, a work of art. Or if they have none, I have enough things that they could always uh, make it with all the rocks I have on hand. Uh, I think what's happening is more and more people want to do things on their own. And this is a very simple art form. Uh, you could make one and you don't have to do any more, right? Uh, or if you get uh, hooked on it, then you could... And the material is just having to find it, that's all. Well, anyway, uh, that's my plan for this year. Uh, I'm hoping that i get the workshop started. But for now, I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of what I did for my friends. So this one is for Art. The other one was for Marcy and Paul. So this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter.